G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today, guess what? We're playing with mini bikes. This you crazy mother. So if you've been around this channel for a while, you'd know that mini bikes aren't a new thing for me. And um, recently built the uh, the Dexon uh, Swinger, which I turned into a hardtail. <laughs> and that hardtail has uh, done me proud in my living room. Um, but I have moved that on, um, knowing that I already had most of this thing. Now the beauty thing about this thing, it's got rear springs. And these are the springs off the swinger actually, which they fit. Now this is a Dexon Daredevil. That has the 160cc engine, which I pulled off a, um, what do you call it? A lawn edger, that's what I pulled it off. And I was gonna show you the frame, but I think I threw it out. I had it running, it runs perfectly, it's beautiful. I don't think it's done a lot of work. Um, I found that out the front of my neighbor's house on a council cleanup. He said, yeah, it runs. I don't need it anymore. So at the moment, I've put on a set of handlebars, a spare set that I've got out of my STCT70 range of stuff. These were bent, and I've straightened them up, flexed them out a bit to suit this um, top clamp. So they take in the adjustable handlebars there, which fold away. Makes it easier for transport and stuff like that. But as cool as that looks, I'm thinking about doing like full custom chopper style. So I might not be using these bars. I might be using parts of them, um, but I'm thinking about making a big set of rape hangers for it. So these are an Aussie brand bike, Dexon. Dexon stands for Deck and Sons. And this is sort of late 60s from what I can gather. So really, I don't need a lot of inspiration to build something like this, but there has been a uh, little bit of inspiration come a couple of days ago. Boogaloo. Invitational, which is a hot rod event for period correct, early style, traditional hot rods and stuff. They're doing a camp out this year in November and they announced they're doing the mini bike dust up. The Boogaloo mini bike dust up, I think it's called. And from what I can gather, it's kind of a wear your fancy gimp suit and race your mates, um, as well as the display. So I want to build it for that. It's good inspiration to get this thing done. I mean, it's a super easy project, but um, let's make it a little bit special. So it's going to be full 60s style custom chopper, mini bike, hot rod kind of deal, I think. That's what I'm thinking. Why not? What I don't want to do is modify it to the point where it's I can't be brought back to original because these are quite collectible now. So, I mean, paint, some bolt-on mods, stuff like that. No big dramas, but I'm not going to be chopping the frame, modifying anything too much. Um, just to keep that originality if I want to take it back to original. Not that I'm a restorer whatsoever, but they are worth a bit of money now. Super collectible. So today I've got my engine mount, which allowed me to mount my motor. It's just dummied up in there. I've got my clutch adapter. That's all sorted out. I've got my big bore. I think it's a 27 or 28 mil um, carburetor. Now this is a, a really good uh, modification for the Victors. All you need is a, an adapter to go onto the original Victor manifold. And then you can bolt that on. The original Victor muffler fits this all perfectly it's great there's not gonna be any dramas with it but I might do something special with the exhaust I mean that's perfect but we're building a custom and Brett from deep south upholstery down in Tasmania has put his hand up straight away to do the seat again for me he did the seat on the last one check it out so what I'm gonna do with this one I'll probably make up the base because um, it needs some metal reinforcing for it pivots here and then swings off the back to buy an original base now. I mean, they're all flogged out and people are asking silly money. So I'm going to make a timber base out of plywood with some metal um, bracketry. I'll make that up so it fits. I'll send it down to Brett and then he can do his magic. One thing I like about these Honda handlebars is they have the internal throttle control, which, um, where's the end of it? Which is really, really cool. So I'm going to try and utilize that in whatever I do. It's got the, um, the brake lever mount on there as well but utilize this early style Honda throttle, so it's all internal. It just cleans it up, makes it look really cool. As far as an air filter goes, 
This is an old Velocity stack I had off my Harley years ago. Um, bolt straight on an SNS Super E. Um, I mean, that looks cool. It doesn't fit, but it could be something I could, uh, an option that I could use in some form or something cool. It won't be just a standard pit bike air footer on this at all. So I've pretty much got everything I need. I've got my front wheel, needs a clean up, tire's good. Rear wheel, tire's really small. I've got the right tire for the back, I've got my sprocket, I've got my hub, I've got my brake drum and my brakes. Um, axles, I do need to get some steering head bushes for the steering head. Uh, non-existent. Um, so we're pretty complete. I mean, like, it wouldn't take much for me to fire this up right now. But the idea is, at the moment, what I'm going to do is dummy it up, get it together, get it running and rideable, then we'll strip it out, sandblast it or whatever we need to do, paint it all up and put it all back together. Now, as far as colours go, the hint is in the last video, the last mini bike video. I had two options. I'm doing the other option on this one. It's going to be cool. Really, really cool. So, yeah, that's it. Pretty much just a nut out of what I'm doing. Um, I'll add some more content as I get stuff moving. I've got a fuel tank on order. It's a round Victor, early Victor style fuel tank. That'll go on there. To try and buy a Dexon fuel tank these days is just ridiculous. Collectors are going nuts over them. I don't see the value whatsoever. So I bought a $10 fuel tank. It's going to look cool. It's the right era and it's period correct. And will paint up really nice. We'll see what happens. But that's it from me. Stay tuned. I hope you like it. We'll see how we go. Take it easy. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. See ya.